So, when painting the uh, branches, I'm going to be using uh, Rosemary & Co. Uh, this is a rigger brush. Now, if you're painting the really skinny branches, put that to one side, then I would use size zero. Um, obviously, you can get bigger brushes, this being a size two. Um, but start off doing the, 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 the fatter branches first and then sort of move out. But I'm just going to show you how I'm going to, or what consistency I'm going to mix the paint at. Now, whatever paint you need, in this case, I'm just, just doing this just to show you, but I've just got some ivory black there. I probably wouldn't be uh, painting this just with the ivory black. Um, I may introduce some blue to this as well, perhaps some some raw umber or burnt umber but all I'm going to do is using that paint I'm going to put my paint in the uh, my brush in the white spirit here and I'm just going to start mixing some of the white spirit just into the side of this paint here and the consistency that I'm looking for is more of a, a milk consistency so I'll make sure it's nicely mixed in there now as you can see that's sort of fairly thin now what, I don't know whether you can see here on my brush, but there's a drip, there's a drip of paint just sitting on that bezel there. Now that's what we don't want, because when we bring the paint up to the panel, that will run down, and then of course you'll have too much, too much um, thinner with the paint. So what I'll do is I'll take a tissue and just wipe off that paint, or that thinner, so there you can see the consistency. And now all we're going to do on the panel is just do the thinnest lines like that. Now, obviously they're very, very thin indeed. And painting, because this is a glass palette, painting on the glass is never going to look quite the same as it would on a palette. And you can practice getting ever so thin lines. Now the, the uh, thicker branches, of course you'd want to be pushing that little bit harder to get a thicker line and then of course moving on to a bigger brush and in this case the series two to get the the wider line so just an idea about how to get that consistency right for doing those now i would suggest probably the very thinnest lines you want the the paint to be more diluted and the thicker ones you can probably afford to have a little bit more pigment in there so that it's not quite so thinned. Now, when I'm painting uh, these thin branches, uh, I tend to go from left to right just because I'm right-handed, and that's just more of a convenient way to go. Going in the opposite direction, I find a little bit harder. Um, you'd naturally think that you'd probably work from the thicker part of the twig and then out towards the end where it gets thinner. Logically, that would make sense because you'd be able to get a thinner line when there's less paint on the brush but I think if you get enough practice you should be able to get a nice thin line anyway. Uh, practice does make perfect and you will get there the more you do it. You just need to have a really gentle pressure on that panel so the further out you go into the thinner bits of twigs you just make sure that it's only the very tip of that brush that is touching the panel. You may also find that um, because you've thinned the paint down so much that it's not, and especially going over a white sky like I am here, the paint isn't quite thick enough to be as dark as you'd like. So if that's the case, you just the only thing you can really do is just to go over it more than once. So let it dry and then go over it again. Um, obviously the thicker branches, uh, it's a bit easier because you can use thicker paint, but these very outside edges here, the, the very outside twiggery, uh, yeah you might need to go over that again but actually I don't think it hurts so that's a little bit lighter than perhaps it should be anyway. But just uh, just trial and error really. So another thing that it's probably worth saying, although it's possibly unnecessary really, is that you really need to be observant with the twigs because I've seen so many people um, with their brush strokes they're just the, the twigs are too straight they're too smooth you need to make sure that there are plenty of kinks and little bends in in the in the twigs and there's, there's no regularity in those twigs so just bear that in mind as well
Thank you.